Where is everybody? I don't know. But I am enjoying the quiet. What were you working on? Plans for the hotel. How's your partner? Do you mean Julia? Do the two of you have plans for any future projects together? I know what you're doing, Mother. Darling, you know I've always taken a great interest in your extracurricular activities. My work with Julia is hardly extracurricular. We are running a multi-million dollar hotel together. Running anything else together? <laughs> Mother, you're way off base. My relationship with Julia is strictly business. No kidding. Then how do you explain the fact that you were not at the club the night you said you were during the storm? I don't owe you an explanation. You don't owe me an explanation, but perhaps you'd like to try one on for size so you'd be prepared when Jenny asks you the same question. <clears throat> Unlike you, Jenny trusts me. Excuse me. Oh, I guess she doesn't know about the card game. Card game? Card game. Mm-hmm. Yep, card game. Just happened to fall on the note that Julia wrote you about a, um, guardy belt. <sighs> Jenny, dear, are you all right? You look like you've had quite a fright. I'm fine. I'm just a little frazzled. I think it's been a very long day. It certainly has. I know what you mean. You know what? I think what we both need is a nice, hot jacuzzi. Mm. Seen my husband? No. I haven't seen him. This is shot in the dark. I leave you two to make your bathing plans. So, how you doing? Is everything all right? Yeah. Now that I'm with you. Yeah. Do you love me? What makes you ask that question? I just need to hear it. Of course I love you. You mean everything to me. Don't stop. Uh, just fooling around, a little. It was beautiful. Well, it's something I used to do, uh, play around with when I was a kid, you know. I didn't even know you played until after the concert. Well, I practiced a little bit here and there. Guess I never noticed. Yeah, well, after the concert, uh, you know, seeing Springsteen and all, I, I guess I was a little inspired. I just saw Jenny downstairs. She seems, um, on edge. Do you know what's bothering her? No, I, I didn't know she was having any problems. Well, I'm not making it up. She's definitely been acting strange since the storm. Probably just your overactive imagination, Tracy. I don't think so. I think something happened that night. I'd bet money on it. She said she was at the lighthouse. Is that right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Did you know she was going to the lighthouse? Tracy, she doesn't clear everything with me first, all right? Besides, we knew she was going there to take care of things until William got back. Yeah, but I distinctly remember her saying to Paige that she was going shopping at the mall at Pier 5. Well, one activity doesn't necessarily preclude the other. No, it doesn't. Why didn't she mention both of them? I don't know. Tracy, why don't you ask Jenny? I will. I doubt I'll get a straight answer, but I'll ask her. Go him. again. Being suspicious. Why do you have to be so suspicious? You think people? I don't have reason, Paul? No, I don't. Have you ever stopped to notice that I'm usually right? Have you ever bothered to notice how much you hurt people? Do you know how much hurt could have been avoided if they had paid attention to me about Nikki Langton? Oh, I see. So that's what this whole thing with Jenny is about. You being right. I don't enjoy being right, Paul. It's a burden I've had to bear my whole life.
Hey, wait, don't, uh, don't go, please. Uh, not on my account. I, uh, I saw you sitting here in the moonlight, and you looked so beautiful, I, I didn't want to disturb you. Ned's going to be back any minute. Well, I don't plan on hanging around, Jennifer. Sit yourself. I would appreciate it if you could refrain from talking to me about my husband's fidelity. Because I have no doubts about the love that Ned has for me. I didn't mean to upset you, Johnny. You never mean it, Paul. But sooner or later, it always seems to happen. Well, all right, um... Well, it's forgiven, right? Just like the night we spent together in the storm. Do you have to put it that way? Well, how else should I put it, Jenny? Okay, listen. After I return the earring that you lost in the bed and bath shop, then uh, we'll start over, okay? Clean slate. Isn't it past your bedtime, Dad? Oh, Dad. I hope that champagne is for our jacuzzi. It certainly is. Mm -hmm. I thought it might help pass the time. Mm -hmm. I like the way you think. Sneaking around already? You'd like me to wear taps on my shoes? No, I'd like you to wear a little bell around your neck, preferably someplace else. <laughs> Still trying to get rid of me, huh? I'm a very determined woman. I can see that. Anything I can help you with there? Are you kidding? What, is there a problem? This is definitely not official issue. I wasn't aware there was one. Well, there is in this house. Why don't you find Cook and have her train you? I don't have time. I can see that. When I am done with these uh, clothes, I want you to take them all downstairs and leave them for the dry cleaner. They pick them up twice a week. Twice a week? All the clothes in this house. Wow, you must uh, spend a lot of time with your hands in your husband's pants. <laughs> Is Madam all right? What? Yes, I'm fine. Take these clothes downstairs, please. Sure. Anything else I can get you? No, you've done quite enough for one night. In fact, everybody in this house has done quite enough for the night. Okay, as you wish. I guess that must be where you left your earring. <laughs>